So I would sing uh, Men at Work, Land Down Under, but I'm sure there's a copyright strike that's going to come after me for that. But anyways, hey, so let's talk a little Woso. Let's talk a little NXNT, WNT, Canada took a trip down under to play Australia in a two-leg friendly. Came across with an aggregate score of 3-1, winning the first matchup 1-0, winning the second matchup 2-1, coming back to win that match. Let's kind of talk about it, let's talk about things we liked, things we didn't like. Let's, I don't know if we want to talk, let's start with the positives, let's go with the negatives, and let's talk about what it means overall. So, Let's go with the positives. Um, let's start from the back. Kaylin Sheridan has been solid. Kaylin Sheridan has been solid, taking over the role for Steph LeBay. Truthfully, I mean, if you were doubting that she could handle the role, I don't know why, but she's been in that role and she's doing well in that role. And I haven't seen anything that should tell you she's not going to succeed in that role. Sheridan, solid. One goal conceded. I think really bad, a bad ball out distribution. But then you could also look at some of the defenders wondering what they were doing in terms of covering back on the back track. But Sheridan, a good trip for her. Back line. Janine Becky as a fullback. She put into shift. She got stuff done very much like that um played the first game all over the pitch second game half second half of the second game as a fullback and then moved up with subs coming in and out becky has been reliable i, I think there's conversations about her where you say what's her best position is it as a winger is it as a fullback is it as a utility player that you can go out i i was having a conversation with uh with, yeah, I was having a conversation with my girlfriend today. It was like the semantics of, are you better off having positions, players in specific positions, or are you better off having just general groupings, right? So the simple example is like, are you better off having strikers and wingers, or do you just want forwards? I know it's a very semantic conversation, but in terms of roles on teams, I don't know. I find that it's not. But Becky had a good game. Shout out to Shalina Zadorsky. It's usually seen as the third center back behind Gilles and Buchanan. Had a solid week. She was definitely the old veteran back there. Was all reliable, was able to, you know, distribute when they needed to. The first game definitely distribute through her, but also in the second game, allowing Jade Rose the, the opportunity to play a little bit better. But it also, when you need that solid vet there that allows the kids to go play. And I mean, look at her reaction to goals. If you haven't seen it, her face is smiling. Loved every minute of it. We're going to just continue going down the back. Well, actually, let's go to the next, next section. Jade Rose, seriously. I mean, that second game, the assist, her play, the moment did not look too big for her. Let's be very honest. Um, one of the few bright spots from the U20 FIFA tournament, and she stepped in here. And, you know, nothing like a baptism by fire. Welcome to the national team. Uh, there's Sam Kerr. Have fun. I think she definitely played well. Uh, but again, still early in her development. We're not going to crown her as of yet, but it definitely does open the door for some possibilities for her, either as a center back or even potentially uh, playing in a CDM role. But I, I still think a center back may be the best role for her because the other thing positive for me that I saw, the dual holdings of Julia Grosso and Jesse Fleming. It's not the thing I never knew I wanted, but then I wanted. I've always wanted it. But I think Grosso and Fleming playing well together kind of speaks to this formation, which kind of led to the other things. This 4-2-3-1 really unlocked, I felt, the wingers a little bit better. And then it also let Fleming get the ball a little bit early. I think one of the drawbacks of having Fleming in your midfield is when teams know they can key off of her and she's the engine for the team, you can cut her off and force maybe a a Desiree or a Grosso to have to drop even deeper. With Fleming and Grosso as your holding, they were alternating who was stopping back, but getting Fleming on the ball sooner really started the engine for Canada and their buildup. And it was definitely I, something I'd like to see more of. And it really kind of brings to the question that we'll kind of get to later, which is essentially, she'll just ask it now. 
this four two three one is this just a phase or or is this gonna be a actual relationship because there are things that i liked about the four two three one i think getting players versus yeah the four two three one versus the three five two i like the four two three one mainly because it lets what i feel are wingers be wingers yes leon who had a great window can play striker but she's able to exploit that space i like her cutting in but also not necessarily having that play having to be that forward up top i liked prince on the wing where she could use her pace and then turn and go versus having to play with her back to the ball with a back to goal and then turn and go as a holdup yes it means at the end of the day Heidema didn't have the best of windows but didn't have the worst windows i think she occupied that spot well but i think putting those players on the wing and then more importantly really putting sinclair in that cam role right now at this point of her career was tasty to me and i'm wondering if bev freesman looks at that and says this is something i want to go back to because i think especially when we bring back the full back line the, it does offer some possibilities but a lot of intriguing concepts and players playing over overlapping right whether you have becky as a fullback or as a winger you have Riviere, you have Ashley Lawrence. We have St. George's, who I didn't mention, but also had a good, solid two games. I think she played herself well, and I think she should be part of other teams. Let's get to the names that we most people know because of the goals. Adrienne Leon, I mean, does she have to start now? Three goals in two games, truly putting the ball in the net and really full of confidence. It doesn't matter who you score against. It doesn't matter how you score. When you see the ball going in the net, man that gets a striker that gets a forward that gets a winger going and we saw different parts of her goal we saw her movement goal we saw her up close goal we saw her gain the ball in space and laying a shot go she's one of the few forwards who isn't afraid to put a shot on frame from distance that is kind of why i like her better on the wing because whether she's cutting in or whether she has an opportunity off of a reset off of a set piece She's going to put that ball on frame. And I think that's important for her. And I like that. And I think that would be great. But that does open questions. There's no doubt about players, about we have forwards. So a lot of the conversations with the W, with the WNT or the XNT is, yeah, we have players who can play those positions. But are you better off having players who can play well in specific roles versus players who can fill in, but maybe never get to maximize their a skill set one way or the other. Some of my positives are there. Again, I guess if I missed any, let me know in the comments. What do you see as positives? I'm sure there are many other ones. Some players play well. We saw debuts, Clarissa Lyracy, Simi Wujo play. We saw we saw Carl play. We saw a lot of players get the debut and play. But you know, we do have to talk about some of the negatives are things we can improve. And I think for me, the first one is, yeah, you saw some players. I think for me, the first thing is I'd like to have seen more. It's it's interesting in terms of concept, we look at players. I, I was talking with my girlfriend about this, where it's just, you look at a player like Chloe Lacasse and you think, man, she's, she's getting to the team late. She's younger than Adriana Leon. Again, this is by no means ageism, but I would have liked to see Clarissa Lyricy get more play. I would have liked to see Simia Wujo get more play. Because for me, I mean, you're down one nil in the second game. First game kind of very much dominated, but then couldn't put the get ball away. And we'll get to that in negatives as well. But second game, Australia turned up the intensity, but then it took Canada a half, a couple moves to really get back in to match the level. But I would have liked to have seen some of those new players in that type of position. Okay. Not to say that we didn't get anything from the team to play well. Yes, it's great that our regulars were able to do that, but I would have loved to see an Owusho. I would have loved to see a Clarissa Lurisi in that position where, okay, you're down one, but you also have the pressure of getting the result. How are you going to react? And another thing to keep in mind is also just the idea of putting games away. Um, I think in these both games, we've had opportunities to put the games away. They, had breakaways great shots on goal and i think that's something that's a bit of a thing that they have to work on because against other teams a one nil lead isn't safe a two nil lead isn't safer but it at least gives you some breathing and 
Canada looked good. I think leaving the U.S. game, which was the last time we saw them at Concacaf W, there was a there was the inability to match that level that the U.S. was playing at. Against the U.S., Canada played a solid maybe first 15, 20 minutes, and then after the U.S. scored and they went to their shell, Canada was able to build a little bit of pressure and move up in the attack. They're willing to progress, but Canada, they have to be better. The comeback against Australia is nice, but when you have a lead, you can put games away because Canada's known, their calling card right now is a great defensive team, but you have to be able to put games away so that the last 10 minutes aren't you holding on because if you're not careful, you go in a World Cup setting one goal and defending till your death you're one mistake from going from three points to one and that gives the rest of your group hope so i think that's the that's a one it's a, i don't even say if it's a nitpick but it's definitely something that i was wondering I did tweet about it asking are we gonna put the game away or are we gonna close it out right and they they closed out both games held on defended well but i would love to see them because i had the opportunity to do so to put the game away, to put the game out of reach from an opponent. But I mean, I'm not going to complain too much about that. I would have loved to see Carl play a little bit more. Um, I would have loved to see her start. Levasaro didn't have the best of halves. She definitely first sub off in the second game. Um, you could look at her. There's there's a video, perhaps, where tracking back a little bit slowly for the goal that gets scored by Fowler against uh, Canada. And that's definitely a thing. Another negative or thing to improve, but I think this is more of a question. Well, you can look at this window in in a very specific window, or I can look at it from a broader standpoint. And I think from a broad standpoint and from a very narrow mindedness, what is Desiree Scott's role on this team? I know Bev likes to have a holding midfielder, but in terms of progressing, and moving the ball. I think she may be better off in maybe a smaller role. And again, taking a small sample size, maybe that's fair. Maybe that's not. You tell me in the comments below. We What we saw with Fleming and Grosso, at least for me, I felt like that is the best way if you're trying to progress. But then also on the flip side, put that pressure on the teams that are playing. So that when you saw them in the first game, they were able to really set up their presses, their triangles, and really set up with Heidema at the top of that, Sinclair in the middle, Prince and Leon on the side, but then Fleming and Grosso cutting off space, really limiting Australia to go over the top, even though they could, with some passes, they'd had the opportunity to move around and, you know, reverse the field of play, get balls going and moving on that aspect. But the midfield actually has more questions in it for me than answers. I know Sophie Schmidt's playing well was just recently named player of the month, but the midfield is actually has a lot more questions in it than answers. I know we don't have answers or we don't have answers at the striker position as of yet. That's rotating. We have who is the third or fourth center back that we're going to be bringing on the team. That's a, definitely a fair question. But I wonder in midfield, what do we do about players and playing time? And how do you set that up? In a 4-2-3-1, I think the dual holding, having Grosso play with Fleming is the answer. But if you're going to play Scott, is she better suited maybe to see out a game? Or is she better suited to start a game to make sure you're defensively solid? Mary Levasal didn't have the best of windows, and that's, again, fair. It's it's something that sometimes happens when you bring players in. I know we've already talked about seeing more of players, and that, that's always a concern with me because I find that sometimes with players outside of the national team setup, and by setup I mean the youth teams, the margin for error it feels like with some of the players, Mary Ellie Du, for example, Arnold Clark Cup, and then she hasn't seen the pitch with Canada ever since. So that's a bit of a concern for me. And I wonder if Larissi and 
Simi Awujo. Probably not Simi Awujo, but I wonder if Clarissa Larissi off of, you know, she had a breakaway, put a bit shot on frame. Uh, goalie was able to save it. If this is her only opportunity, or maybe she can play from there. That gets credit for making the right substitutions and seeing players, but then also you. Do you get credit for if you make a mess and you clean up? Should you get credit for cleaning up the mess, or do you have to acknowledge that this mess is your responsibility and you're doing? And I think with that, they've definitely learned something here. I hope. I I hope that within this we get to see a little bit more in terms of players. But yeah, I would have loved to see more. So when we get to this point now, we ask ourselves, what does this mean? What are the questions now that we have for this team? I think for this team and how it's set up, first question to me is, is the 4-2-3-1 something that we're going to see more of? Is this now part of the uh, deck? Or is it just a break glass in case of emergency setup? Because I would love to see this attempted with the players that are there. So I would have loved to have seen that because that does open up some opportunities, especially with Riviere, Lawrence, Buchanan, Gilles in that back. I would love to see what that looks like. I think there are questions in terms of who starts in the midfield. I think we didn't talk about Sinclair much, but I think Sinclair in that cam role is her most ideal role. I don't think Sinclair is a striker anymore. Um, she can play as a striker, but if she's going to play striker, she'll play as that dual striker, that second striker, more of that creative playmaking one in the midfield that works. And then do you start Scott or do you trust Fleming and Grosso to be able to handle it? Against Australia, they were able to do so. Um, we'll see what else. And then on the wings, this is where it gets interesting. Leon had a great window. Becky, when everyone's there, is playing in the wing. Nichelle Prince was active, but I, I feel like her final her final third, her final shot wasn't necessarily as threatening as it could be. And often forgotten, but still in the picture, Deanne Rose is still there. What do you do in with your wingers? Because that is a very interesting conversation. You have a depth there. And if you if Bev decides to stay with this 4-2-3-1, I think that does open up the questions for what you can do. Striker. You didn't get any goals from your strikers. But I still think Heidemotz served her purpose. I, I've seen people on Twitter saying, try Leon in the striker role or strive someone else in the striker role. I know Evelyn Vien names comes up. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Do it. But I feel that you need a player to take on that role because even in CONCACAF W, Leon was good on the wings cutting in. I think the effectiveness of a player like Haidema is going to come to getting players and getting play she can occupy the center backs and she's your best option right now for playing with your back to goal. I think if you put Prince there, if you put Leon there, if you put Rose there, you're taking a little bit of their effectiveness away because instead of them running at the goal, you're asking them to play back to goal, hold up, play off, and then turn and go, which yes, you can play some solid ones and one, two passes off, set up some triangles with the buildup of play, but you're taking away their more effective aspect of play. <sighs> so not a bad window for me. I think I've rambled on here enough. Two wins. I've liked what I've seen from the regulars. I would have loved to see more from the players. You guys, let me know what you think. Do you think, what, what did you see that you liked? What would you have liked to see more of? It's very interesting. Even like a player like Jane Rose, what she does, you can effectively play a three in the back now if you wanted to. And now that's tantalizing a three in the back with Gilles, Buchanan, and Rose. Because then you can have one of those center backs effectively be that CDM. They can step up and push the ball because they can be comfortable. We've seen Rose do that. She's done that all throughout the U-20s, as well as with that, excuse me, with the national team on the goal that she set up Leon for. But man, there's a lot of good, positive takeaways from this, but I don't know, guys, what you think. Let me know.